A research conclusion needs to bring your essay to a close, and it's where you can give your input. Yeah, take this down, please. It's the one part of your research essay where I want all of what you think about your research. So your conclusion is the very last paragraph. It's going to bring it to a close by giving your opinion. I like to break things down into three parts. You guys know that. So the first of three key things in a conclusion is to state your opinion about the research. Your opinion. That means your thoughts. What do you think about this research? Okay, so my topic was the Vikings. I would tell you a little bit about my opinion of the Vikings after the research. Then the second thing is to restate your thesis. Your thesis was one of those things from our introductions that I said you really need to remember. A thesis is your topic sentence or your topic statement. It's the purpose of your essay. It's everything that it's about. Okay, so with your thesis, if you're confused, go ahead and go back and look at your introduction. Find your thesis statement or your purpose statement and then rewrite it. I don't want you to say the same exact thesis. I want you to say it in different words. Then the third thing you need to do in your conclusion is leave the reader thinking. This is going to be the very last sentence or the very last couple of sentences in your essay. And you want to leave the reader thinking. You want to leave them feeling good about what they just read or you want to leave them pondering about it, asking questions. So that way when they're finished reading it, they won't be like, wow, that was done. Because we've all seen a movie or read a book where all of a sudden it ended and we were just like, stunned. That can't be the end. Mockingjay. Yep. Yep, Mockingjay is a great example. But we don't want to do that in our research essay. We want to leave them with a good ending, one that they can accept. Okay? You can do that in three ways. This last part, you don't have to, you don't have to write this part down. But you could, want, you could leave them thinking about ways to further their research. Okay? Maybe they read about St. Bernard's and they want to keep going with that. What else is there about St. Bernard's? Make them want to keep researching your topic. Maybe you're going to tell them a short story about what you learned. The first portion was your opinion. Maybe you want to follow that opinion up with this little bit of story about what you learned by your, throughout your research. Then the last one, which is a little bit more challenging, is that you want to relate your research to others. And the reason I say that that's more challenging is because my topic was the Vikings. There's a lot of people that don't care about the Vikings, and let alone people that don't care about <laughs> football at all. So how can I relate that topic, my research, to those people that don't care about the Vikings or football? How can I do that? Well, it'll take some time. So I'll give you a minute to get that copy down. You don't have to write down the star part, just these three things, or those four things, excuse me. So if you look in red writing, I have one to three, one to two, and two to three. That's the rough estimate of how many sentences this should be. The first part, stating your opinion, one to three sentences, okay? You don't have to overdo it, but I want one to three sentences. Restating your thesis, that's probably one sentence, but maybe two. And then the third thing, leaving the reader thinking, should be done in two to three sentences. So that leaves you with four to eight sentences total for your conclusion. And that's it. Just a short, simple conclusion to leave the reader thinking. I'm going to go on to my example and I'll put this back up at the end. Okay, so my example conclusion. The Minnesota Vikings have been my favorite team for as long as I can recall. Even though my fandom for this team has not always seemed rewarding, I will always stay true to the purple and gold. So that 
is my opinion about the research. I'm still a Vikings fan. I'm going to stay a Vikings fan. Then, I realized through my research that the bikes have not always been down, and that with Mike Zimmer at the helm, the future is bright. That is me restating my thesis, because if you remember in my introduction, my thesis was that basically the Vikings are bad. I want to look into why they are bad. Then the third part of my conclusion, all in all, being a Vikings fan is a great reward. So stay true to yourself and your teams, even in down times, because eventually it will pay off. So that was me trying to leave the reader thinking, the third part of my conclusion. I tried to do it by connecting my topic to the lives of those that may not care about my topic. So even if you're not a Vikings fan, maybe you like a team that's not very good in any sport, stick with it. Don't be a bandwagon fan, because eventually your team will get to the level they need to be at. Okay, stick with it. And then, maybe you don't care about sports at all. Maybe you don't have a team or anything like that. But maybe you have something that you believe in, all right? Maybe you have something that you really like that maybe isn't that great in the eyes of others. Well, don't give up on that, because eventually it'll get to the point where you'll have that rewarding feeling where your team, whether it's sports or not, will be good. Okay? So maybe you're a huge comic book fan, and right now, comic books are not as popular as they used to be. But they're making a comeback. So stick with that, and eventually, those comic books are going to make you money, or make you famous, or something like that. Okay? So, that's me trying to connect my topic of the Vikings to someone who may not care about the Vikings. You see how that kind of relates it? And it could leave the reader thinking about, well, what can I stay true to? What do I believe in? Does that make sense? Confirmation? Yes? Yes. All right. Awesome. I'll put this slide back up. The rest of the time is yours to work. I would like you to finish your conclusion and then bring it to me, please.